Hello beautiful noodles, it's me Nikki aka Nikki Noodle and it has been a hot minute and I just wanted to make a quick video explaining why it's been a hot minute and then also just kind of let you all know the plan moving forward here. Fun fact, I actually recorded this video before Thanksgiving um, but it ended up being really really bad quality and glitchy because my computer was at like 1% when I filmed it. So here is a hopefully better version of the previous video I filmed. So as you can probably tell, uh, if you just take a quick peek at my channel, I have not uploaded anything since before my Halloween trip. Um, and quite honestly, it's just because after that trip, I have been really struggling to get back into a routine and get back into filming. And I've been really struggling um, with just motivation to do things. Um, so it's like, it's like the routine was never really set for me before the trip. And then that just kind of reset everything. Uh, and I don't have the motivation to do anything. If you've been around on my channel, you know by now that I have ADHD um, and I was just diagnosed in August and I'm still really struggling with just finding coping mechanisms and lifestyle changes that I need to make. I am medicated now, which has helped a lot, but there's still those lifestyle changes that I need to implement to really actually make a change. So the thing is, is that before my trip, I was treating my YouTube channel, at least mentally, like a full-time job. My absolute hope and like wildest dream is to one day make this my full-time job. So I figured that by having that mentality, it would kind of help me get there quicker. I don't know if that makes sense. I guess what I'm trying to say is that like I know that the way to grow a channel is posting often and posting regularly, so that's what I was trying to do. But the thing with that mentality for me was that I ended up burning myself out <laughs> because I was treating YouTube as a full-time job, but I also actually have a full-time job, so I was basically mentally juggling two full-time jobs and it was way too much. My goal was to post as much as possible in order to grow my channel, but what I ended up doing was trying to do too much and burning myself out to where I now haven't posted in over a month. Because of this, moving forward, I'm going to be making some changes to my schedule. Um, I made a community post about this a little bit before, um, but I am going to be cutting down from three videos a week, which is what I was trying to do before because that's just it's too much for me it's too much for where i am in life right now i'm gonna cut down to probably two videos a week is what i'm thinking um i don't know exactly yet what i'm gonna be doing but i'm gonna kind of just have like a very fluid schedule when i start back up um and then once i find something that works i'll kind of try to stick to that a little bit more but i'm thinking it'll be two videos a week Sundays, I'm thinking, are going to alternate between 100 Baby Challenge and the Evolution Challenge. Those are both um, challenges that take a really, really long time to film and then take like twice as long to edit. So doing both of those within one week is just way too much um, and I cannot sustain that anymore. So I'm going to be alternating those. And then the second video of the week is going to be like Sims casts or a Sims build or a different variety game. And then another thing I wanted to mention is that I think I've said this before, but before I started my channel, I was one of those Sims players who would play the game every single minute of my free time for like a month straight and then not touch the game at all for like six months. Um, so this is the longest that I have consistently played The Sims, and I think that is also contributing to the burnout, is that I'm just like burnt out of The Sims too. And then along with that, my YouTube channel's year anniversary was in October, 
And that's also like the longest I've stuck with something that hasn't been like work or school, like something that's just kind of for me and like a passion project or a hobby. Uh, that's the longest I've ever stuck to anything <laughs> like that. So that's also, I think, part of my struggle is is sticking with things for that long, if that makes sense. So I have just been very burnt out, but I think I am starting to like get back into actually like really, really wanting to play The Sims. It's, it's not feeling like a chore anymore where it was a little bit before. So now the plan moving forward. Um, as I said, cutting down to probably two videos a week. Um, but also, I just wanted to say I'm not going to post yet. <laughs> um, just because with the holidays coming up, um, it's going to be a busy time. And I don't want to try to get into my schedule again just to throw it off immediately. So what I'm going to do is actually what I was planning to do before I ever started my channel, which the plan was to have like multiple videos ready to post um, so that like I had plenty of time to work on videos, if that makes sense. Um, because I didn't do that when I first launched my channel, I just had like one video. So then I've been basically playing catch up ever since then and like Basically what I would do is film a video one day and then edit it and post it the next day. So it was very quick turnaround and it was stressing me out and making it so I hated editing and it just was not fun anymore. So now what I'm essentially doing is going to be like a relaunch of my channel um, and I'm not going to post again until I have like four or five videos ready to go so that I'm not on a time crunch every single week and that I actually have time to, you know, edit over a couple of days so that I'm not burning myself out. So what I'm planning on doing is taking this time around the holidays and filming and editing when I can um, so that I can get those backlogged videos ready. Uh, before I start posting again. I'm not going to give a set date for that yet just because I don't know when it's going to be, but I'm aiming for sometime in January um, and I will give you all an actual date once I have some videos ready to go and I can get an idea of when that is. And I'm hoping that this little break I've had and giving myself more time to film and edit and not putting myself in such a time crunch is going to make it so that I actually enjoy this again and I'm not stressed out all the time. And then also, just as a side note, another thing that I'm really hoping to do before the end of the year is to get my entire apartment organized and cleaned. Um, this setup back here is like insane, but if you could see behind the camera, it is horrible. So this is also just not a very inviting space. I don't like to be in here, uh, which is also part of the issue of why I don't ever want to record or anything. Um, so hopefully that will also help and hopefully I can get this setup back here looking actually kind of good. And another thing I've been wanting to do is to go back and like edit some of my old thumbnails and make a more cohesive theme among them. Like my Evolution Legacy videos, how they all have like basically the same thumbnail. I personally really like that and I also want to kind of do something like that for the 100 Baby Challenge and just make them look a little bit nicer and then also make it really easy to tell like what series videos are in. So I might also be working on that during the holiday season too. But anyway, those are my plans. I'm hoping that this coming year is going to be a good one. If you all have any tips for like managing ADHD or motivation, executive dysfunction, please let me know because I'm struggling, but I'm trying. And I also just want to take a minute to say how much I love and appreciate every single one of you. You all have always been so patient with me and so understanding and supportive and I appreciate that 
more than you can ever know. So thank you all so much. I love you all and I hope I get to see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.